As you can see from the title of this video, I am going to be showing you all how I make bundle wraps using Canva and then how I upload my design to get them printed out. I do use the paid version of Canva, but you do not need the paid version of Canva for this to work. Um, you are able to create your bundle wraps by using the free version. So in order to get started, in the top right hand corner, I'm going to click on create a design and then I'm going to scroll down and click on custom size. I am going to change it from pixels to inches and the width is going to be four inches. The height is going to be one inch. So this is going to be a four by one inch design. Now it is zoomed out. It's zoomed in a bit. So I just zoomed it out some, um, but you can keep it zoomed in or zoomed out. It's completely up to you. What I really love about Canva is if you can see right now on the side, Canva creates these free templates for you. So if you're not good at coming up with your own designs, if you're not a graphic designer, if that's just not your thing, and that is okay because we all have strengths and weaknesses in different areas. But if that is just not your area of expertise, you can easily just choose something along the side, type in your business name, upload your logo and call it a day, okay? Another cool option I want to show you guys is something I just recently noticed. Not sure if you all noticed, but you are able to change the colors of something. So I selected a template, but let's say I like the colors of a different template better. If you click on the three dots on the side, you can click on the apply style only, and it will change it to the colors of a different template that you might like. Also, it lets you shuffle between the colors. So if you didn't like how the colors originally were when you applied the style, you can shuffle it so that it can look the way that you want it to look. But in today's video, I'm not using a template. I am just going to create a basic design for my bundle wraps. And for my design of my bundle wraps, I just use a um, plain color for the background, a color that matches my brand colors. And then either you can use a long version of your logo and just have it straight across, or you can use like a mini version of your logo and have it duplicated across your bundle wrap. Kind of like what you see me doing right now. Um, the thing is, I realized I don't really like the white on top of the pink because sometimes it's just, it's just not bold enough. It doesn't show up. So I'm going to change this over to my black logo. But yeah, basically creating your bundle wraps is just that easy. What I'm doing right now is just making sure everything is aligned. And like I said, I'm going to go and try to find my black logo so I can um, have the black letters instead of the white. So now that I have found my black logo, I'm just adding three of them. You can add however many you want. doesn't even have to be a logo. It could be any design. But like I said, I like to keep my bundle wraps very simple. So I'm just making sure everything is equally on the same line, spaced out the same amount. I really like that Canva gives you those lines that pop up. That way you know everything is equally lined up. And then basically, once I am done with this, I want to add a little extra little razzle dazzle. So I clicked on elements on the side. I searched for a gold line. And now I'm adding a gold line at the top of my design. Just, you know, to add a little, little razzle dazzle, okay? Um, you can make the line thinner or thicker, however you want it. But I'm adding one to the bottom and I'm adding one to the top leaving a little bit of pink poking at the top and bottom as well. But now that I have the design that I want, 
Uh, I'm making sure it's evenly lined up. Everything got to be evenly lined up. But now that I have created my bundle wrap, I am going to go ahead and save it. So you click share in the top right hand corner. Then you click download. And then you're going to select the file type. I like to save it as a PNG file. So I'm going to click download and go ahead and save it. And then we're going to upload it to the next platform. Now, if you've been following me for a while now, you've already heard of this website. I rave about them. I love them. And I've created so many things with this company. This is stickermule.com. If you're not signed up with them already, or if you need a coupon code, I will leave my referral link in the bio. Y'all, they are everything. But anyways, basically what I did, I am going to create labels. I chose the rectangle sheet label and then I'm going to select a custom size because these bundle wraps are going to be four inches by one. So I entered in that custom size and then I'm selecting a number of labels that I want. Once you click the number of labels that you want, you just upload your design and you submit it. After you submit your design, obviously you're going to have to click checkout and put in all of your information, your name, your address, your phone number. I'm not going to go to that page. That way I can protect my personal information. But what will happen is within an hour or two, they're going to email you so that you can approve a proof of what your design is actually going to look like once it's printed. It kind of already gives you a preview, but they're going to have you approve an actual proof. I'm going to see if I can actually insert a clip of that, but if not, um, once you get that text message or that email you're going to click on the link you're going to approve it or decline it if you decline it you re-upload your design if you approve it you approve it and then production starts and that's all y'all i hope y'all really enjoyed this video if you did make sure you check out these two videos I have on the screen. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.